Hello and welcome back to the Not The Old Firm YouTube channel. My name is Ben Banks. This weekend is League Cup final action in the SPFL. Plenty of teams vying for this trophy, but two have made it to the showpiece at Hamden. Unfortunately, not in front of fans this year as we continue to battle the coronavirus pandemic. St Johnson v Livingston, two teams you don't usually see at these finals and perhaps more rarely two teams you don't see contesting the final with each other. So it'll be a great occasion for both sets of fans. We've had plenty of build-up on our YouTube channel, socials, and our website, notnoldfirm.com. We've had two exclusive interviews with former players. We've had Danny McNamara from the St Johnson perspective earlier in the week, so do check that out. And we've also had Emmanuel Dorado from Livingston. So again, do check that out before Sunday's big game. We'll now move on to two current players. Um, Firstly, as you can see in the title of this video, we spoke to St Johnson fan, St Johnson season ticket holder, family full of McDermott Park faithful fans. We've got somebody who's played for the club and someone who has also captained them on occasion, Liam Gordon. He's looking forward to the final just about more than anybody, um, I think it'd be fair to say. Grew up supporting the team, was there in 2014 when they lifted the Scottish Cup and now has the chance to write himself into St Johnson history, the team he grew up supporting. So we do hope you enjoy covering everyone from Callum Davidson to their chances in the League Cup final, why it perhaps means more to clubs like St Johnston and Livingston as well as their chances in Sunday's showcase. So we do hope you enjoy. Do remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel and until next time, take care. I'll just get started then. Um, I, it's been, it started, the season started, um, you were playing well, but perhaps when we get the results um, you were getting, um, or you were due to get, and now sort of nine months on, you are in a, a cup final, I mean, it's been quite the turnaround for you in terms of results. Yeah, definitely, mate, it was, it was really frustrating at the start of the season, because like you say, we had a lot of good performances, but we weren't getting the results, and obviously it's a results-based industry, so you're constantly getting looked at um, to produce the three points. And, yeah, there's a lot of games that we, we definitely should have and we didn't take our chances or we maybe lost a sloppy goal. Um, so, yeah, it was something that we obviously knew that needed to improve, but it was a new team, it's a new manager, it's a new style of play. So we just kind of needed all that to gel. Nothing's going to connect overnight. It's down to all the hard work we do in the training grounds, week in, week out. So, um yeah, I think we're just reaping the rewards now of all the, the months of um, the hard work and on the training ground. The man just obviously, he's got his ideas and he's implemented them in the way that he wants to. And I feel like we're just kind of taken to that now and it's become a bit more natural. Yeah, I mean, you certainly, um, that's everybody played the same amount of games, I think. And obviously, the league isn't going to be the, the priority, at least for him. Um, mm -hmm. I actually have that um, long to celebrate. If, I mean, if he's won the cup, he's won't actually have that long to celebrate. He's got a game 72 hours later. No. You're right, definitely. You've got Hamilton on the Wednesday night. So um it's just somebody was speaking to me about it the other day as well. And that's just what you you play football for the love of it. You want to play games. And obviously we're just lucky enough that we've got a cup final this weekend. But um no matter the result, what happens after the cup final, we've still got a massive, massive game on Wednesday to prepare for. So yeah, if there's celebrations, which I hope hope there will be. They'll have to be very, very limited and, and reduced and not what we'd usually do. But um yeah, obviously the league the league's your bread and butter, it always has been. And anything anything's a bonus. And obviously the fact that we're in a cup final, we've got that bonus and we just hope that we can bring it home really. Yeah. Easy route to the final, no Celtic Rangers, only had Hibs in the semi finals. <laughs> it makes it uh you look at it in that in that aspect, it makes it easier, but then you're going to the start and the group stages where you've got Kelly Hearts away, it was on a Wednesday night and it was blowing a gale, it was raining, it was horrible, it's an Astro, it's a tighter pitch and games like them can, they can make you slip up, you've seen them Peterhead away as well, we had them on the Saturday and the conditions up there were ridiculous, they took points off Dungeon United and started the group stage so it just shows you there can be potential banana skins and we had United in our group that we drew 0-0 with, um, probably should have took more from that and then yeah we got, we've been through Dunfermline but at the time Dunfermline were, um, I think they'd won or unbeaten in their last 11 games. People are saying that they could be an SPL side, this and that, and even slightly putting us to the underdogs, believe it or not. Um, and we showed up, we obviously got to, took to extra time and penalties, but it should have been way out of sight before that. 
And um, yeah, we've got Hibs in the semi-final. It's another game that you went to underdogs and we put on a show for, for everyone watching. And then that, that was really enjoyable. But yeah, you, that's been an easier route in the sense that you've no came up against an old firm, but that's the that's the magic of the cup, isn't it? Yeah, because it is. It's a bit of a weird one. That probably your best performance, or at least your most recognised performance, was the one where you were perhaps not expected to win because you could probably make an argument. Yeah, at that point. I certainly, certainly wouldn't say we played. Yeah, we played really well, but it certainly wasn't our best performance. But I think it was just more recognised in the fact that obviously it was the same. It was a national semi final. It's on the um on the television, so that all hypes up a bit. But no. I, I felt like, especially second half, we were really dominant, but um, we've had a lot of good performances this season, so uh, hopefully we just get another one on Sunday. Yeah, I was speaking to um, Danny McNamara earlier in the week, mm-hmm. and he pretty much said the same thing and speaking to different people at the club and things like that. It's like, it was almost just a matter of time that you just needed something to click for you because you were dominating games. It just seemed to be one-all draws every every weekend. Yeah, um, I think in the I think the competition that we've got this weekend as well, it's been that's helped us massively because we went through a real goal drought at the start of the season and then we had the, it was a weekend and we managed to put seven past Breek in um, and then we had the Kelly Hearts in the middle of the week that we scored a couple of goals from. So I felt like that really kicked us on like offensively in terms of our attacking play. Um and then obviously games like Dunfermline and Hibs, it's just really, I think it's it's kind of gave us that positive push that we kind of maybe needed in the league. Um, so yeah, no, it's been it's been great for us. Okay, I was at the St John, um, I say St John's game, um, the Mullow game at the the weekend, and I mean it was three board on ten, really. Yeah. It was that. Yeah, team. that's but that's, that's yeah, definitely. That's not that's another performance. It's been a really dominant performance, but we've had a few of them this season. And um, yeah, you're saying it's three going on ten, but we've had a few of them that have been nil nil one alls that were going on that. And I'd, obviously, looking at it, it doesn't seem like that to the neutral. But when you're actually at the game and you're playing in it, there's been a lot of games this season that we've let slip by. And like I say, that's the most frustrating part. But we've still got a chance now to win a, a national cup and still got a chance of getting the top six. So we've in the next what two weeks, we could turn a season that maybe at the start where people are a bit worried about. It could potentially be one of the best the clubs had in, in recent years. Yeah. Are you, um, I was just obviously searching you up and stuff for started recording. You're a local Perth lad? Yep. I born and bred Perth, mate. So it just makes it that a little bit more special to me. Um, obviously, all the boys in there are dying to, to get their hands in the cup. But um, yeah, to me, it's just a little bit more special to have got the opportunity to to fight and win something for for the people of Perth. So, um, yeah, that's just that added incentive on my behalf. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Can you claim to be a St. Johnson fan? Or? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It was the games that when I was younger, I used to go up. Um, the season ticket when I was... That must have been when I was young, about 10. I used to go up sometimes um, with my granddad. My dad would, uh, if he wasn't working, he would take me up as well. Um, but then my uncle, he's another um, lifelong fan as well. And then obviously all my friends um, growing up through school. So uh, there's a big a big backing from that point of view for me. So it just adds the pressure that I'll get it in the neck if I don't bring the trophy home for them. I was going to say, I that must add to it, because by the sound of it, I mean, I know perhaps other fans will look at this and go, is the Gordon family making up the attendance at McDermott Park on a regular basis? <laughs> they but, probably would say. I, hope, I wish they were, but um, <laughs> not this time. Um, it'll be all empty seats, which is obviously another. Uh, it's a disappointing because you just know the the day out the fans would have had. The occasion itself is obviously it's still massive to us, and we know it's at stake. Um, we don't need I don't know how many fifty thousand fans or whatever in Hampton to tell us how how big this game is, but it would just obviously add to the atmosphere and it would make it just a bit more, bit more exciting. But what can you do? Yeah, because these games have just. I mean, Celtic have been in these games the last sort of three or four years, and it was the old firm one um, last year because it is two provincial clubs. I mean, probably not going to see a final like this for however long. I mean, it could. I mean, I'll look back in this next year and it'll be Livingston St Johnson type final again. But the way Scottish football is now, I mean, these finals don't come about very often. Oh, for sure. Um, said this earlier on in the week as well. If you're to look at it from both clubs' point of view. St Johnston, you turn in, but you've got Limerson in the League Cup final in um, February. You would just be, oh my God, um, take my take my left hand, whatever. But Limerson would be saying the exact same. Um, so yeah, it's I'm saying that in the way that 
you've got such a good chance to, to write history and you probably won't get a chance maybe at either of these clubs a such opportunity to, to do like this again. So, um, yeah, we're obviously, we know we know how um, realistic our opportunity is to, to win this and um, that's just what's making it that bit better. Did you get a chance to go in 2014? Yeah, I was there, yeah, I was there. I was at the back. Um, that was another, it was just a, not just for the club, but just the whole city. Remember that weekend, um, it was just amazing. I just seen what it done for everyone in the city, how it brought everyone together. And even in these in these sad times, I've seen it has happened so far. Uh, um, this week, I've seen all the the decorations and all the stuff that's been put up in the city so far. The theatre put a nice display on. The bridge has been lit up. People have been um, decorating the the Brock's Den rounds about. Um, when the local pubs at Cherry Bank had all kitted all out their um, their balcony and the roof with flags and a big sign outside. So the whole the whole community is coming together, and it's just it's just really nice to see. Um, everyone sort of getting together and doing doing what they can and obviously these these times. Yeah, because as I know Celtic have won this um, trophy for the last four years, but does it mean more to clubs like St John's and things like that just because of how rare an occurrence it is? Like- yeah, I, I would, uh, at the end of the day, silverware is silverware. So to any Celtic fan, any Celtic player, they'll want to win it just as much as I want to win it. Um, because you're in football, that's what you dream to do. But I can completely get where you're coming from in that sense. Like they're they're expected to do that every year. They get the opportunities to do that most seasons. And um, so to someone like me um, at St Johnston, it does make it that yeah, it's a it's an extra bit special because, like I say, these opportunities don't come around very often. So when they do, you need to make sure that you you grab it both hands. Yeah, I think the other thing. I mean, you've seen all the nine, 1998 crew being rolled out again this week, like they were last month. It's, it's that side of it as well, like all these people getting spoken to from St Johnston, Livingston from mm. the 4 1, 15, 20 years on. People still mm. remember these names simply because of one 90 minutes. Of course, yeah, and that's just because you're at a smaller club. Like I say, it just makes it that bit more special. You see, you see what I can do in, in the history books. Um, you can put your name down there for, for life, and even that itself is a massive incentive for all the players. Do you know what I mean? You want to become legends. Um, so, if that's not inspiration and motivation for you to go and win the game on Sunday, then I don't know what will motivate you. Yeah, because I suppose as well, I mean, Livingston v St. Johnston, I mean, even though it'll not be an easy game for either team, the old cliches and getting stuff getting bandied about, um, mm-hmm. either team will want to lose to each other. I know that sounds very, very obvious for a League Cup final, mm-hmm. but just in terms of the sense of, when you have beaten teams like Hibs and stuff, and you've oh, of course, yeah, that's a team you you've matched before. this. yeah, that's that's so that's yeah, hundred percent realistic. Like I said, if you said to either club at the start of the season you'd be playing St Johnston, Livingston in the in the cup final, you would just be like, wow, what a chance we've actually got to win silverware. Because at the end of the day, going in this game, no matter how well we're playing or how good they've been on on uh, through the league this season, a cup. A cup game, is, oh, it could be 90 minutes, it could be 120 in penalties, but it's just a one-off game and anything can happen. I think it's just going to be a factor who turns up at the on Sunday, who wants them on, who's um, yeah, and who's able to just push the limits. And um, I'm sure that's what we'll do. Um, how have you sort of found this week with the build-up and things like that? I'm assuming um, even though it's, it's slightly different just because of the times we're living in, I'm assuming it's still been quite exciting. Yeah, it's definitely been exciting. It's dragged on a lot. You kind of just want it now. I want to be playing the game tomorrow, but um, no, it's dragged. It's been a long week. Um, yeah, there's been a lot to do in terms of the press. It's obviously usual weeks you get them, you get them problems, but there's just a bit more with it, with it being a cup final. Um, with the fact that it's kind of been a bit more quieter because of the whole lockdown, it's probably not been as hectic. But no, it's still been it's been enjoyable. Um, it has been enjoyable. We've prepared great the training. Training sessions have been good. Um, we've got the working that we want to do so far. Um, so yeah, no, it's been a it's been a good week. Um, hopefully, an even better week come Sunday night. Yeah. Does it change? Because I'm assuming like the training and that probably doesn't change as much as perhaps the normal person thinks it does. That training gets all different. Change gets a cup final, but I mean, mm-hmm. and Callum Davidson is at least from the outside. I think it's um, no matter who it is. Um, it's pretty much all the same. You just work on what's worked for you. Yeah, no, we write. We work on um, we work on what's 
the opponent we've got the weekend, how we can nullify them, um, our strengths. Um, so, yeah, nothing's changed in that sense. Yeah, I know it's a cup final, um, but I don't feel like we should be changing anything in which we've not um, been training the way we've been training for months now. Um, we've managed to get a good few sessions in with no midweek game. Um, so, yeah, it's been really good for all the boys. It's been a good um, high-intensity, hard-working week that will obviously get us in the best possible shape for Sunday. The boys that are still around for 2014 coming in with their medals and stuff this week? I've, to be fair, I've not seen them, but I've seen stuff. Uh, I think there's been a few things on, on Twitter on that. Um, but I dare say, me going back to Elrond, I dare say more stuff would have probably happened like that if um, it wasn't for the, the current situation. Um, but yeah, there's like I said, I was at the game when I was younger. I know I've spoke to all these guys, I've trained with them, I've been lucky enough to train with them, play with them. Um, and even you've got play, people like Liam Craig and Murray Davidson that um, have been incredible servants to this club over the past um, decade and I know they didn't play in the final but you've got people like that around as well so it's no it's really good really good to me yeah and for your career as well I mean um, you've obviously established yourself now as a St Johnson regular um, I think people perhaps have this um, this feeling that you're still with some sort of youngster and come and break through St Johnson but 25 now where do you think you are in your sort of career now yes obviously I'm in a, I'm in a good position um, I've been I'm playing for my boyhood club I'm living in the city that I've been brought up in. Um, and yeah, I've, I've got a cup final for the team that I've supported since I was a wee nipper. So it doesn't really get much better for me right now. I'm enjoying my football. It's, um, it's uh, Training's been been great this season. We're really enjoying it. I think every, all the players have thrived with the new manager coming in. And um, just for the squad in total, I just hope that we, we manage to keep as much of the boys together because I really do think this is a an exciting squad that's only going to get better. Yeah, I suppose that is the exciting things for you is that if you can keep the squad together, and I mean, it, it won't be away anytime soon, I don't think. But the manager as well has obviously shown he can go up. Nah, of course, yeah. But um, yeah, you um, you look like even if things perhaps don't even go the way you want them to go this season, next season certainly looks exciting for you. Yeah, and I just hope that we're able to hold on, and not just the players, but the the coaching staff. And I know it's hard when you're obviously at a, a club like St Johnson if. There's obviously a lot of clubs that are financially more more strong than us. So if they were to come in with offers for certain players or yeah, coaches or whatever, then it's always hard because you're never in a position where you can't turn that down. But that's just football. It's the same everywhere else. Um, but yeah, I just even if it's just for another year and we can keep this kind of this nucleus of good young players coming through, um, hungry players, um, then yeah, I think this is going to be a a real good um period for any St Johnston fan yeah and especially well to finish off then with obviously news this week fans might be back albeit next season they won't be there on Sunday but exciting times for St Johnston obviously a cup final would make it better and then yeah who knows what the future holds for you yeah it's just great that and and what we've all went through that we've been able to give something back to the fans who have stuck with us throughout it um so it's obviously last lovely to give them back a, an opportunity to get some silverware for the club that they love. Um, and I just hope to see them back up at McDermott as soon as we can, as soon as it's obviously safe and, and all ready to go. It'd be great to get them back. And if well, I think it is obviously going to be next season, then so be it. But we'll prepare for next season and get the fans back in and, and get McDermott uh, bouncing again. And that's just the 600 season ticket holders in your family? <laughs> that's just the 600, mate. You're right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's great for me as well, isn't having all the friends and the family that um that are close to the club as well. So that's nah, always good to put a smile on their face. Yeah.